Hey guys, Jason Dude Guy here, and we are back with Redstone Tutorials. Um, I can't exactly remember where we left off. We I looked at the past video, though I'm not completely clueless. Um, but yeah. Um, also I got a new skin with Redstone on the back. Thought that was pretty good. Um, I had an offline cape, but we're on 1.6 now. Um, there's this is proof right here of 1.6. Um, even more proof. Force armor and stuff. But yeah, still, let's get back to what we were originally doing. Um, so I don't have a world that, or, um, or single player commands anymore. Um, I'm trying, but I, last time I know we were going over all the different, um, gates and latches. Um, got the Arsenor compact versions of it. Um, the Xnor, the Xor. Um, I went, we went over how all these things work. Now, I think, um, I know we, uh, we only spent an episode on that, but I think it's time we move on to some more stuff. Um, let's see, Red Bull. We'll draw a line here, saying that we went over all this. Sadly, I can't make a giant line really easy. Let's actually do it block for block, like this. I think what we're going to go over next part of the series is getting onto different on onto new components. So, um, let's see, what should we go on to? We'll go on to pistons to, and disp dispensers and droppers. So we'll go over and hoppers as well. Uh, we'll or we'll leave that for another episode. But for this episode, we are going over um, sticky pistons, pistons, droppers, and, disp and, and dispensers, which I know they look all these all look alike. First of all, pistons can be placed depending on what your way you're facing, and same with a regular piston. Now the difference between a piston and a sticky piston. So they um, first of all. Pistons get power like this, this, if it's going straight in it, but not like this. See, that doesn't work. This works. Hold on. Um, and when it, it pushes the block away, see, like this, but it doesn't pull it back. Now, with a sticky piston, you can push it and pulls back. Now here's one of the tricks to a sticky piston. So I not um, I don't remember if we went over this or not, but we went I think at one point we went over monostable circuits. If we don't if you don't remember monostable circuits is um a signal that's a one tick pulse. But this one's repeating obviously. Um one way to get this is if, but what, how this relates to a piston is even though it's a sticky piston and it pulls back, even if we go fast like that, um, if we apply a monostable circuit to it, like so, it doesn't, it, it pushes it out and pull, doesn't pull it back. Now if there's a block in front of it and we do that, it pulls it back. So you see how torch blinks on for a second. See, we can still pull in and out like this. Um, one bug you can note with pistons, if you do not have the game rule do tile drops off, if you try, it, first of all, if you break it when it's open, it just breaks. So if you break it on this part, um, it will, hold on, um, it should, maybe they fixed it, never mind. Um, whoa, hold on. 
Oh, okay, hold on. See, if we break it like that, it'll give us a regular piston. But if we just break it like this, it doesn't. Alright, hold on. There. Um... That's basically it for pistons. Now we're going to go on to droppers and dispensers. So this is the dispenser, and this is the dropper. Now you're probably saying, what's the difference between the fact that this is like a little arrow, and this is like a little circle? Well, you will see the difference. So first of all, um, if you take items in it and apply power to it, oh, also pistons can be activated like this. Um, you see. Or an, or you can do it like this. Um, it just drops a block out onto the ground. Um, the block literally just it literally shoots the block out like that, and at a random velocity. And what I mean by that is that it's randomized where it'll end up in this range of blocks. So that's just landed here this time. It's landed over here. Um, but that's not too much of a difference. Um, we can also just put a the regular button there like that. Um, and yeah, that's basically it for the dropper, except, um, one thing different about it. Let's say you put in arrows. Probably thinking, well, it's gonna drop the, it's gotta drop the arrow. No, it actually doesn't. It shoots the arrow. <laughs> Excuse me. Burp City. Um, and, yeah, so it shoots the arrow out of a dispenser. Now, here's the difference. Let's say we take an arrow into a dropper, per se. A dropper is meant to dispense any item whatsoever, no matter what. Now, let's just take the arrows out of here. Um, a few more things we can, um, note about this. Um, let's just, hold on. You can also, um, if you do that, you can put water, and we sort of destroyed our button. <laughs> but, um, I think we can do that. So if there is a water bucket in it, it'll, it will dispense out the water. Now if there's an empty water, or an empty bucket in there, it'll, um, bring in the water back into it. And the same thing with lava buckets. Um, and I'm, I think this might work for, um, cows, but I, let me test it out. Mm -hmm. Um, no, sorry, I thought, I thought my work. Die, cow. There. Um, leave this piece. But yeah, that's how that works. Um, Let's put our buttons back, because the water sort of got rid of them. Um, but, you know, the dropper will dispense any item whatsoever, whereas the um, dispenser will shoot out lit TNT. It will, um, let's see, what else? It brings out buckets, um, shoots exp experience bottles. I'll show you real quick. Like that, you know, it gives us a little bit of XP. Um, uh, but one thing you can note, that if you put a dropper, um, hold on, let's see, if I can bring out a chest here, if you have an item in a dropper and it's right next to some sort of container, whether it be another dispenser, or, um, or a chest, or whatever, or a furnace, whatever, um, it will go into that. See, look. So we, we'll just take this chest, throw it in the dropper, and it's in there. I think this. Let's test. Hold on. No, it doesn't work. That does not work with the dispenser. Um, make sure you note that. Um, let's see. I think that's basically it. There's a few more features, like it shoots a minecart onto rails if there's rails directly in front of it, um, and so forth. Yeah, that's so that's the dropper and the dispenser and the pistons. Thank you for watching this episode 
of Fred's tutorial for beginners. Thank you for watching and goodbye.